In his new book, the Duke of Sussex says that the Prince of Wales attacked him and ripped his necklace. And recently in an interview, Prince Harry flaunted his broken necklace, saying it is fixed. Since then, rumors have swirled over whether the necklace was given to Meghan or by Harry's ex-girlfriend, Chelsea Davey. Join us on Royal Stories as we discuss more on this. In 2019, Prince Harry said that he still wears the necklace he said his brother broke. In a TV interview, he showed off the necklace, which he said was now fixed. During an interview with Stephen Colbert for The Late Show, the question of which necklace Prince William stole from Harry was posed to him at the age of 38. Harry confirmed that it was the one he was wearing at the time and explained the significance of each of the three items that were attached to the leather strap. Colbert started off by saying, There is a lot of talk about the physical fight that the two of you had, where he pushed you down in the kitchen and broke the dog bowl when you fell on it. There is a lot of talk about the physical fight the two of you had, Colbert said. It states that it shattered your necklace. Which necklace did he end up breaking anyway? In response, Harry said, this one, which has been corrected. Colbert wanted to know more about the three pendants, so he asked him. Harry proudly displayed silver plaques engraved with his children's cardiograms and explained that his wife had given them to him as a gift. On the plaques, Harry's children's heartbeats were engraved. And then a friend of mine in Botswana made this for me, which is a tiger's eye in the middle, the recipient recounted later. It's said that the tiger's eye can bestow power, inner strength, healing and courage upon its wearer. In certain societies, it's believed that doing so will ward off the evil eye. It is a relatively inexpensive stone that can be found in Namibia, Australia, India, and Thailand, in addition to South Africa, where the majority of deposits are located. The fact that Harry has been seen wearing the necklace for a considerable amount of time has given rise to rumors that his ex-girlfriend, Chelsea Davey, who he dated from 2004 to 2010, gave it to him as a present. After Harry returned from spending his gap year in Zimbabwe, he and Chelsea had an on and off relationship that lasted for a total of six years. They first met one another while attending schools in London. It's believed that the Duke began wearing the necklace at the end of that year. He was seen at a rugby tournament in November of that year wearing the leather pendant around his neck, which lends credence to this story. Throughout the entirety of their relationship, he was observed wearing the necklace, and after they broke up in 2011, he still wore the pendant. Chelsea stated that she did not want to become a princess since she desired both a professional life and a personal one. Harry, in his memoir Spare, writes about the bruising encounter with his furious brother in 2019. William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor, he writes. The heated argument is said to have begun at his London residence, Nottingham Cottage, in which is located within the grounds of Kensington Palace. During a meeting about the whole rolling catastrophe, it's reported that William called Meghan difficult, rude, and abrasive, and insisted he was trying to help his younger brother. Additionally, William is said to have insisted that he was trying to help his younger brother. According to the book, Harry accused his brother of parroting the press narrative about his wife and then a screaming match ensued as a result of this accusation. Harry asserted after this, William encouraged him to fight back, telling him that this is how things would go when they fought when they were children. However, the Duke of Sussex claims that he turned down the offer and that Prince William left the room before coming back looking regretful and apologizing. After that, William is said to have turned and called back, saying you don't need to tell Meg about this. Harry asserts that William responded to him by saying, I didn't attack you, Harold. After he allegedly asked, you mean that you attacked me? According to the Duke of Sussex, the first person he discussed the matter with was his therapist while they were on the phone together. On the other hand, he asserts that Meghan later witnessed the scrapes and bruises on his back that were caused by the dog bowl. According to him, his wife wasn't that surprised and wasn't all that angry. She appeared to be in a lot of pain. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video, and if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.